Interestingly, the bank accounts of businessman Praveen Rana, 37 years old, who was arrested by the police in the investment fraud case of rupees 150 crore, were found empty. The police only managed to find 1,000 rupees, six hard disks and a laptop when they arrested Praveen. The police are looking for the details of the swindled money, like where it went. The police believe that the hard disk seized from Praveen contains crucial information about his financial transactions. 31 cases have been registered against Praveen. He was charged with fraud and under banning of unregulated deposit schemes. He was produced in court on Friday morning and has been remanded till January 27th. CCTV footage revealed that on January 6th, Praveen left his apartment at Chilavannur, Kochi and headed to Angamali in a luxury vehicle. After learning that the police were following his car, he called his relative in Trishur over the phone and arranged for another car. He reached Tamil Nadu using this car. There were four persons including Praveen in the car. Praveen also received help from his advocate in Kochi. He reached Coimbatore on January 7th. Their car was identified from the CCTV footage of Paliyekara and Paniyankara toll plazas. Praveen's plan to enter other states failed as he had no cash with him. He stayed at a quarry in Devarayapuram that was being run on rent by Perimbavur native Joy. Praveen was trapped by the police after he called his wife over the phone from the phone of a migrant worker. The phones of Praveen's family members were under the surveillance of the cyber cell. After identifying Praveen's location, the police soon reached the spot and surrounded the quarry. Although Praveen attempted to flee, he was eventually caught by force. He had been living at the quarry under a different name after being disguised as a swami. He was lying on a bed made of plastic yarn in a one-room house. The investigation was divided among two teams led by the city police commissioner. As per Praveen Rana's statement to the police, he had lent Rs. 16 crore to his friend Shaukat. He also said that he had 50 cents of land in Palakkad. Police have found fraud worth Rs. 150 crore in the preliminary investigation. All the cases except one are in Trishur city limits. It is anticipated that more people would be coming up with complaints following Praveen's arrest. The East Police had registered the case at 11 p.m. on Thursday. Praveen was then taken to General Hospital for a medical examination. News Desk, Kaumbuti Global.